All right, here we go. Four seconds. Hi, I'm Jimmy Talbert, and today we're going to go through a demonstration of Keep Pro. So I'm the Senior Manager of Conversion Marketing here at Keep. Uh, I absolutely love what I do. I'm in charge of building rewarding and engaging programs for uh, both pros prospective customers as well as current customers. So today we're going to be walking through Keep Pro. Now, if you're not familiar with what that is, uh, here at Keep and Infusionsoft, we now have a family of different products. Keep Pro is the one in the middle. We've got Keep Grow for some of our smaller customers, Keep Pro, and then Infusionsoft, and uh, we're going to be going through uh, Keep Pro today. So uh, as I'm looking at my, uh, my dashboard, I get asked all the time, what is Keep or what is Infusionsoft? So I kind of break it down into three different categories, and one is, uh, the first category would be it's a CRM or a smart client management. And what that means is that you have a file for every person in your database, a file for every message, so a text message or uh, go going back and forth, a file for every task or to do, a file for every appointment, and then a file for every pipeline deal or opportunity, depending on what you call it in your business. Um, and then, so that's one category. And then the next category would be your sales and marketing process. Okay, so that means that you can uh, message a lot of people at once through uh, email broadcasts and communicate with big groups of people. You can build scalable and repeatable processes through the campaigns. And then you can also report on exactly what's working and what's not. And then the third category would be the financial end. So making it easy for you to collect money or take payment from people. Um, and that's absolutely critical as well. So again, CRM, sales and marketing process, and the financial arm of the business. So. Let's start by taking a look at our at, at contacts. We'll just kind of go down the list here and let's take a look at what that consists of. So I'm looking at a contact list here. Now you can segment your list into however, however you want and you can, you can have as many lists as what makes sense in your business. So I'm looking at one list here and if I go to Johnny Demo here, uh, let's go ahead and take a look at his record. So we can see any, any general information that we have up here. We can see any pipeline deals that he's associated with and any recent activity that's happened on this file thus far. Um, I can also see uh, any other details. So I can put my custom fields in here and, and anything else like that. I can see any email history of what I've sent to this, this individual. Any, I can set up a meeting with him right here. And then I can also send him an invoice uh, or a quote, or take payment directly through the, uh, the money tab right here. And then if I come over here to more, I can also see any tasks, notes, uh, any, I can upload documents, files, anything like that directly to his record. And then I can see any tags, which a tag in, inside of Keep or Infusionsoft is essentially an electronic note that can be automatically added to that record and can not only automatically be added, but then also queue up any automation uh, or any anything, uh, any follow-up associated with that, and then see any campaigns that he's associated with. So your 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 contact record is a great place where you have one place where you can uh, get a snapshot of all the information that you need on a specific contact, whether they're a prospect, a customer, uh, or any 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 other category that you may have uh, within your business. And then I can jump between different contacts right here. It's easy to do and I can do it very quickly, uh, which is very nice. So uh, we try to make it as easy as possible for you to get all your contacts into Keep. So the different ways you can get your contacts in, we can add them one at a time for your onesies, twosies, things like that, obviously. Uh, you can import a list from a CSV file or a spreadsheet. Um, that's something that we typically help with when you get started. We can, you can also, we have an app where you can even take pictures of a business card with your phone, have that loaded as a brand new lead inside of the system, and then start them down a follow-up path automatically as well. Um, and so whatever, we, we can also link up to your website, your social media, your blog, but however you get them in, it's really about what happens afterwards, what the follow-up is, and what, 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 what continues on from there. Um, if I come down to messages, I can see any, any text messages that I've recently had with this specific person. And so the great thing about that is 
I'm able to uh, I'm able to get a uh, to communicate with them from my mobile app, and then still get all of the relevant information uh, and and know exactly what's happening. Um, I can manage my tasks, which is just going to be your to dos and and things like that. I can also set appointments uh, directly from the uh, from the 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 system. So. What's going to happen is Keep will automatically integrate with any Google Calendar. And what's great about that is people can book appointments with me from my website, from a landing page, or maybe just from an email that I send them. So they can click on, on this link down here, and it will open up for me. Uh, my calendar, they can book an appointment, so they can select a specific day and time. And then they can book directly from here to enter their information. They'll get a confirmation. I'll get a notification, and we'll we'll all be on the same page. It can it can send reminders and anything else that you may need from there. Now your next down the list is your your sales pipeline. So I've got my different pipeline stages up here. Obviously, you can customize your stages to be whatever you want. And when I open up one of my deal tabs here, I can see exactly what's associated with this specific deal. So I can see where they're at. Up here is a line that's going to represent where they're at in my sales and marketing journey. And I can see what contacts there are here. And then I can also see any team members that are associated with this specific deal as well. And so when I'm ready to move maybe Ray from a specific one status to the next, I can grab this tile, move it over. It's going to update the forecasted revenue right there. And then we'll also be able to, to uh, see them in my in that specific stage, and then it will keep a record of any stage movement that's happened uh, along the way. If I come down to my money tab, everyone likes collecting money, right? I can right here see a history of any and all invoices uh, that I've sent out. I can see any recent invoices that are out there, and then I can see what I've been paid what I have outstanding, and any drafts, maybe where I started. Maybe I started an invoice when I was on the phone with someone, but we didn't continue the conversation, so I never completed it. Um, I can do the same with quotes and get a snapshot of that. Again, just a nice place to be able to view everything uh, in, in one place. If I come down to the Broadcast tab, we can come here. I can create a email broadcast to whatever segment of my list that I want, or maybe my entire database if it's an announcement or something like that. So I can just come over here to create a broadcast. I can type everything out right here, or I can use the Advanced Builder, and I can select from these different design templates that we have available. Um, I can preview what these are going to look like in different formats. So I can make sure they're going to look good on a phone and on a computer. I can select this. And then we've got a drag and drop builder, which makes it really easy for you to build professional looking emails. I can fill in my subject line. I can merge in any information from the contacts record and, and then fill that in specifically into the subject line, into the preview text, or anywhere in the message itself. Everything down here is really easy to use. I, I absolutely love this tool because I can click here and I can change that image. I can adjust the size and really make it however I want to ensure that it's going to look good and, and be effective for, uh, for my list. I can also make just about anything in here a, so if I wanted to make something a link or pull a button in, it's easy to do so. And it will essentially reformat the template to ensure that it's going to be responsive regardless of what device they're, they're in. And you don't have to be a designer to make things look good in here. That's a, another thing that I absolutely love. Um, so I can drag in everything that I want. Again, make the email look how I want it to. We can, if there's a button, uh, I can, again, fill in what I want it to say. And then I can decide in here, maybe that's a URL that I want it to be. So let's just put keep.com in there. We're driving them to that. And then I can apply a tag. So anyone now who clicks on that link, I can apply that tag specifically to their record. Um, and, and we can do that very easily, and, and that way you know exactly who's engaging with what. You can do that with videos. So if you send a video to a thousand people, 
you can know exactly who actually watched the video and who didn't. Um, and so it's, it's a wonderful feature. You can change colors. Again, it's easy. Again, my favorite part here is that you don't have to be a designer. You don't have to be a programmer to figure this stuff out. It's truly built for small businesses and the everyday person. If I hit preview, I can look at what these things will look like on the different, in the different formats to make sure that it's going to look good and that's the way that I want my brand to be represented. Um, and then as we come back out, so now let's jump over to our campaigns tab. So I like to think of the word campaign inside of Keep as sales and marketing process. So when we first click on the campaigns tab, it's going to have all of these pre-built sales and marketing processes that are, are designed to, to help me out. And so I can come over here and they're all segmented into different categories. So things like getting more leads or converting more leads into customers or clients and then into getting more repeat business and referrals. So increasing your lifetime customer value of everyone that you work with. Um, and so these are all pre-built campaigns. There's copy in the emails. There's templates recommended already. It's easy to get things launched so that you can get a strategy launched quickly and then start generating revenue or making a change in your business as quickly as possible. That's our goal. Uh, if you're unsure about what strategy is the most appropriate, we've got our strategy guide here. And the strategy guide is a great tool to walk you through and recommend a specific, walk you through what your needs are and then recommend a specific campaign or a specific uh, strategy that you, you should be going for. And then another great thing is I can build my own campaign as well. So if you have a more unique or bespoke process, uh, you can build all of that right here. So I'm going go to go to that right now. There we go. And I've got a campaign right here. Now, in the campaign builder, I can build my process right out here. And then I'm going to use these tools to do it. Now, I know that you're seeing a lot of tools here, but you don't, uh, you don't have to worry about necessarily what all the pictures mean right now. <laughs> if you just focus on that, we've got two different types of tools here. We've got circles like this guy and rectangles like this guy. So a circle is a goal. A goal is like a trigger. It triggers automation or triggers action. A sequence is where that action is fulfilled or where that, 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 that's actually fulfilled. So let's build a process. So I, I produce a lot of the, the webinars and things like that here at, at Keep. And so I'll show you exactly how we do that and how we could produce a process really quickly uh, specifically for a webinar. So when we promote a lot of the webinars that we do, we do it, we promote them in two different ways. One is through our landing page, which usually we'll send an email out to, to promote it and then uh, maybe run some ads. And then the other way would be through our website. So in either case, as soon as they register, these are kind of our doors into this specific funnel. As soon as they register, then what do we want to have happen from there? And that's where the sequence comes into play. So as soon as someone registers, probably want to send them some sort of a confirmation and remind them to show up. And so right here, we can do that very easily. So if I want to design my landing page, my registration page, I click on here. This is going to open up our design templates for our landing pages, which are all really easy to work with. Uh, they're, they're designed to make it, it easy for you to do and easy to build. So let's just grab a template here. Let's grab this guy right here. Click on preview first. You notice up here we can preview it as a desktop version, as a tablet version, or as a phone version. Uh, again, especially if you're running Facebook ads or anything like that, you want to make sure that these things are mobile responsive and look great on a mobile app because that's where people are viewing that type of content. And so we can say, all right, this looks great. Let's use this. Easy, easy to work with. One thing that I absolutely love. And so it's going to now, it's going to ask me to title it. Let's call this webinar. And you'll notice down here, you've got the different steps. So we'll just hit next step. And we'll go from there. And so it's going to open up the design elements now. Whoop. I hit one too many steps. We went past design and into launch. So I clicked it twice. All right, so what we're going to do now is I'm going to click on 
uh, anything I want to edit, I just click on it, and then it will open up a toolbar where I can actually edit that specific element. I can adjust the form. I've got a whole bunch of different elements over here that I can drag in very easily. Uh, another thing that I love about the landing page builder is it's preloaded with literally thousands of royalty-free images that are available. So you can search for images that are relevant to your business and work with them. And they're all ready to go preloaded for anyone who uses the system. It's got kind of recommendations on copy and, and things like that to, to help you get through these things very quickly and easily. So once we are, uh, once we have our landing page ready to, ready to rock, we can make it live. And then once someone fills that out, then this is what happens next. And so if we open this up, then I say, all right, so as soon as someone fills that out, what do I want to do? Well, I want to apply a tag automatically to their record saying that they registered for my webinar. And then let's send them a confirmation email and have that go out again automatically. And so just write confirm. And then we can pull a timer in here that's leading up to when the date of the actual event is. And then say we want to remind them and so on and so forth. You can see how you can build this out as long as you want. So then once the confirmations and reminders have gone through, then you say, all right, so if this is driving people to actually attend the event, then we could kind of think that the live event is actually happening right here. And so what are the two things that we want to metric when that live event's happening? Well, we want to metric if people either attend or they don't attend. All right, and so for people who attend, we want to send them one form of follow-up, like sending them maybe to a sales team. And then for people who don't attend, we want to send them to the replay. And you're probably thinking, well, I can send people the replay right out of Zoom or go to webinar or anything like that. Well, that is true, but let me show you what's going to be 100% different about that. So uh, if I click on this replay sequence, then we can say, all right, so as soon as someone misses this event, then we're going to send them an email with that replay in it. And hopefully they watch it. But as we know, not everyone's going to. And so then what we're going to do is we're going to say, but if they don't watch that one, then we're going to wait, in, let's say, two days. And if they don't watch it within two days, then we're going to send them another one. And so now we're going to send them another one. Maybe this one's a little bit more personal. So rather than like a, a big branded email, now maybe we have a plain text email that says, hey, it doesn't look like you watched this yet. Here it is again. And so you'll get a different response out of a, another segment of that group that missed the original live event. And then we can make this go on obviously as long as we want. Now what's the initial problem here? Well, the initial problem could be that if you don't, if someone watches our replay right here, we don't really want to keep sending them emails saying, hey, it doesn't look like you watch this. It doesn't look like you watch this. So what are we going to do? Well, we're going to come back out here. And now we're going to set a goal of this sequence that just says, as soon as they miss, or as soon as they watch one of them, then we're going to bump them up to our sales process as well. And like I said, our campaign builder is not just marketing process, which is what we've shown so far. Our campaign builder is our sales and marketing process builder. And so now we can build our, our sales process right in here. So I'm going to double click on this guy and we're going to say as soon as someone either watches the live event or the replay, then what do we want to do? Then we want to uh, they are going to have the tag on their file, so we want to uh, route them to the appropriate person on our team. And then we want to create a task for that person to give them a call. And then again, if they don't get a hold of them right away, do we want our salespeople to give up? Absolutely not. And so then maybe we'll send an email after a day of not getting a hold of them, and then after another day with the email, if they still haven't engaged with them, then we can create a task another task, right? So 
what we're doing is we're constantly reminding either ourselves or our salesperson, whoever's following up, to continuously communicate with this person because we know it takes multiple touches to convert people into being, being a customer. And so that's what we're, we're trying to do. So we want our, our communication to consistently be timely and targeted and rel relevant and personalized because we're trying to follow up with people like individuals to uh, convert them into, into customers. So uh, what I want to do now is turn things over to questions and let's see what, what questions people have. So I've got one question here that just says, what's your favorite feature about or in Keep Pro for small businesses? So my favorite feature uh, is, is probably our, our campaign builder here. Again, this makes it really, really easy to, con to create very unique and personalized programs that are gonna ensure that you're always following up with people like individuals as opposed to that spray and pray mentality that you often see with many kind of email broadcast systems and things like that. Um, all right, are there any other questions as we go? That is all that I'm seeing for right now. Now, we have a link in the description as well as in the, in the comments here where you can actually jump in and, and do what's called an interactive demo of, of this platform as well. And if you do that, you'll be able to kind of play with things yourself and get in and see exactly what's working and, and how things are working. I hope you enjoyed this and I hope you have a wonderful day.